remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Before I go in, smash up the likes, smash up the likes, smash up the likes. It helps with my video placement on YouTube. Puts it in front of people outside of the Willie D Live channel. Also, if you have not done so already, make sure you click on that join button on your screen. If you don't see it, there's a link in the description. Join the Willie D Live channel become an official member so you can get some cool perks. All right, let's get into it. I need to know what your opinion is. Why do you think, if you've seen the movie already, why do you think it is that Queen and Slim had to die at the end of the movie? I wanna know what you think first and I'll give my answer a little bit later. Let me give you a brief description of what this movie is about. Now, I'm assuming that most of you have watched this movie because it's been out about three weeks now. So if you have not watched it and I give up something, it is your fault, not mine. Perhaps if you want to avoid hearing anything about it, you may want to just stop watching this video right now. Come back to it later. But here's, here it is. So the movie is about, it's a romantic drama. It's starring Daniel Kaluuya and Jody Turner-Smith. They are a black couple who get stopped by the police for a minor traffic violation. It escalates into an argument it escalates even further, and the male character, played by Daniel uh, Kaluuya, Slim, shoots the police officer in self-defense. They panic and take off. I'm saying they panic, but did they really panic? I think they gave it some thought, like, hey, we better get the hell out of here. But... In any event, they took off. Now they're on the run. When a video of the incident goes viral, they become a symbol of pain, grief, heartache, disappointment for people all over the country. They're like a modern day Bunny and Clyde. People are saluting them everywhere they go and people are kind of like, like looking after them and everything. They're going to these different places in these little small towns and people are recognizing them and they're thinking that the people are going to give them up and people are going like, I know who you are. You're safe here. You're safe here. People are hiding them out and everything. Now, here's why I believe they had to die. Because that movie had to be made and it had to get in as many theaters as possible. And it is very difficult to make a movie in the U.S. and have that movie be successful, be put in theaters, a, a lot of theaters in America. Have that movie get some mainstream success and the black man or woman and woman comes out on top after killing somebody white, especially a police officer and especially a white supremacist. If you're going to make a movie like that, the white man got the win in the end. He got to have the power in the end. So they'll let you kill all the ones you want to, but you got to kill. You got to be killed at the end. They're not going to just let you survive. You know, that, that, that's why Dango was such a huge success because the black man rolled off into the sunset. He didn't die, you know. <laughs> so you're going to make that type of movie, you got to be very, very crafty how you do it because 
they don't want to give anybody any ideas, any black people, especially any ideas that they could take white life and ride off into the sunset and there not be any uh, deadly consequences. That's why they killed them off the way they killed them off. They wanted to make sure that they put that message out there and that image out there like, yeah, you did that, but look what you got in the end. You dig what I'm saying? So, you know, want you to be heroic and want you, you know, we'll show you fighting back, but not too much. That's why I believe that they were killed. I'd like to tell you my favorite part of the movie. Again, if you haven't watched the movie yet and you plan on watching it, go ahead and mute this part because I'm about to tell you my favorite part of the movie. And my favorite part of the movie is when the black cop and the white cop was outside of the safe house and they were talking and the black cop said he thought he heard something when Queen screamed after she had dislocated her shoulder and Slim yanked it back in place. He popped it back in place and she screamed a little, you know, and they were hiding in the garage and they were trying to, after that, that happened, they was trying to why, what do you call that? Uh, they was trying to uh, get the car started. They didn't have the keys to the car. What do you call that? Hotwire the car, yeah. So they're trying to hotwire the car and roll out of the garage. And so they're trying to figure out how to get out of the garage. And as they're trying to figure it out, a black cop raises the garage door up. And he's standing there gun and this and they're like ducks and he stepped aside and let him go through oh man that was beautiful beautifully executed love it man oh yeah that was my favorite part but boy when they shot that woman at the end of the movie unprovoked it really was indicative of everyone's view of the police. It reaffirmed why people think the way they think, why black people think the way they think about police. Because at the end of the movie, they gave up. They were unarmed. They didn't make any motion to try to run, uh, reach for a weapon or anything. They were just standing still and the police just started shooting. So that's all I'm going to say about that. But what do you think? I mean, am I, on, am, I, am I on track or am I reaching? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?